Hello royal folks, hit that subscribe button now. Also please don't forget to press the bell icon. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry paid tribute to military personnel from all over the world by posting a note on the Archwell website. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry publicly observed Veterans Day and Remembrance Day. Remembrance Day was the sole subject of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's tweet, which began, On this Veterans Day and Remembrance Day, we commemorate service members around the world. These courageous men and women, together with their families, have given much and are the epitome of duty and service. The Invictus Games Foundation, the mission continues, Team Rubicon, Scotty's Little Soldiers, and the Greatest Generations Foundation are just a few of the organizations we are honored to partner with to support veterans and military families. I appreciate your service, both now and always. A black and white photo by Chris Allerton who frequently takes pictures of the couple, was included with the message. A small group of people can be seen standing with the couple in front of military officials, including an officer who is holding the American flag. The supporters of the Sussexes and the organizations they support greatly enjoyed this quick post. One of these, the mission continues, which assists veterans who volunteer in areas with limited resources, posted on Twitter. We will always be appreciative of Archwell's support and acknowledgement of our goal to empower veterans. I'm grateful. Veterans Day and Remembrance Day both fall on November 11. Veterans Day is honored in the U.S. to honor the contributions of all military veterans in the nation, while Remembrance Day is observed in the U.K. and Commonwealth member states to remember those who have lost their lives in combat since World War I. After giving up their top positions with the firm in the spring of 2020, Meghan and Harry had previously honored the veterans and the fallen. The two went to the Los Angeles National Cemetery on November 8, 2020, the same day when full-time royal employees went to the Cenotaph for the National Service of Remembrance. With a wreath bearing the statement, the Duke and Duchess were seen placing flowers on the graves of two Commonwealth troops to everyone who has served or is serving. Thank you. Meghan and Harry visited the joint installation McGuire Dix Lakehurst Army Base in New Jersey in November of last year. While there, they spoke with military troops and their spouses about the value of community and assistance for mental health. Harry gave five service personnel, veterans, and military families suffering with the Invisible Wounds of War, the Intrepid Valor Awards at the Intrepid Museum's 2021 Salute to Freedom event in New York, where the two also walked down the red carpet. Supporting veterans and active military members has been a focal point of Prince Harry's charitable activity. He spent 10 years in the Army and participated in two tours of duty in Afghanistan. The first Invictus Games, a multi-sport competition open to wounded, ill, and sick service members and veterans, were introduced by the Duke in 2014. In his speech at the event, he stated that the Games would demonstrate the power of sport to inspire recovery, support rehabilitation, and demonstrate life beyond disability. The Duke has supported a number of initiatives, including Head.IT, an online tool created with the Ministry of Defense to support Army members in maintaining both their physical and mental health. Over the years, Meghan has also shown her support for the military. She joined the United Military Organizations Incorporated, USO Tour, which offers entertainment to service members and their families. In 2014, when she was working as an actress in the courtroom drama suits, she paid visits to troops stationed in five nations, Afghanistan, Afghanistan, Turkey, and the UK. Both the Festival of Remembrance hosted at the Royal Albert Hall tonight and the Cenotaph tomorrow, where King Charles will lead the nation in remembering the lost, will be held without the Duke and Duchess. So what do you think about this news, guys? Write down in the comments what you think and let me know. Until then, guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turns out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my sizzling royal updates like this, subscribe and press the bell icon. As simple as that. Thank you so much.